Hi, everybody. We're in the Cop TV studio today with the director of the Tax Assessor's Office, Stephen White. And I have him here because I received my annual notice of assessment and I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Tell me what this is and how many people got these. So the annual assessment notice goes out uh, in the spring of each year. And we send out about 235,000 residential notices last week. So a lot of mail last week. Most property owners have received their annual assessment notice. And the key feature of that is to let people know what the assessor's office has put as the taxable value for their home for the 2020, 20, 2022 tax year. So that means that the number in the current fair market value box is what your tax bill will be based off of when the tax commissioner sends bills in August. So my assessment went up by 16%, but I understand I am not alone. That's correct. Uh, we sent out more increases this year than we have in many years. We sent out almost about 170,000 residential property owners saw an increase in their assessment notice this year. And also, on average, the amount of increase was higher this year substantially than in years past. And that's because of the real estate market that we see happening right now. Our goal is to put the fair market value on the property, what we feel you could sell the home for if you were to put the property on the market as of January 1. And the reason for that is simply because prices are going up. They are. That, that's an easy way to put it. A lot of things are driving values, and it's just not a, a Cobb County uh, situation. It's really a national situation. Real estate, the real estate market around the country is, is going off. We get to that number by looking at sales in each individual area, so each individual neighborhood. We take a look at what are the sales doing, how are they changing, and what do they tell us about your property? what you could sell your property for based on what homes in your area are selling for. So if I get this and I'm a little shocked at what the it says in the box, how can I go and figure out whether that's really reflects reality? Yeah, good question. We have a number of tools to assist people. Uh, I think we find that many people, once they see what properties are really selling for in their neighborhood, they're really startled at some of these sales prices. You can do that by visiting our website, cobassessor.org, all one word, cobassessor.org. Look at your property. We have a sales tool on that website that will show you properties that have sold in your neighborhood. You can customize it to the way that you'd like so that you can see what properties are very, very similar to yours, and you can get a good idea what your value should be. If someone should need assistance with that, you can call our office, 770-528-3100. 770-528-3100. We will walk people through that sales tool. If you're not a computer person, we will email you the report. We will mail you the report. If you'd like to come in and see us face to face, we can have you speak with a residential appraiser. They can go over the information with you. They can also make sure that the information that we have on your property is actually correct. We want to be sure that we have correct data. So some people I know like that face to face interaction. Others would just assume do it online and right. I know a couple of years ago you really upped the game when it came to what's available to do online. We did, yeah. Well, certainly with the pandemic we wanted to be sure that we have a situation where folks don't need to come to our office to file an appeal. You can put one in the mail, you could just write a letter and say I wish to file my appeal, sign it and put your property address on there, but you can also go to our website and do it online. And that online tool kind of walks you through the process, makes it nice and easy for anybody who wants to file an appeal. But there's a clock ticking. There is. Uh, 45 days from the date that we mail the notice, uh, at the top right-hand corner of the notice gives you the deadline date. So it's important for all property owners to know that they have 45 days from the date we mail the assessment notice to file that appeal with our office or put it in the mailbox on the 45th day. So I do that, then what happens? We'll get the appeal. We'll notify you that we've received the appeal. And then we'll start reviewing the information that you have. We want to make sure, again, as I say, that we have correct data on your home. But we're also going to take a look at your value. And we're going to take a look at the other properties that have sold in calendar year 2021. And we're going to make sure that our value is correct. And if not, then we mail you an assessment notice that has a change to your value. If I do get that change, I think you mentioned in another meeting that that kind of locks me in for a period of time. If you get a change from the Board of Assessors, that's the first level, there's no lock there. But if you're still unhappy and you want to proceed on in the appeal process, you go to the Board of Equalization. If you go to the Board of Equalization, then there would be a lock for that year plus the two following. 
So I've heard people say, why is this happening to me every year? I thought mm -hmm. you only did this once every three years. That's, that's a question that we get from time to time. The law says that the assessor's office has to maintain fair market value on all properties. There's no time limit. Uh, some states do have that, but Georgia is not. Now, the law is that we have to maintain fair market value. And as we see sales prices escalate, we find that we have to keep up every year by increasing the value so that we can have a value that reflects fair market value. And as sales continue to go higher and higher, that means that we have to reassess more and more. And so we're finding that more and more neighborhoods are getting reassessed every year because of the way that the real estate market is moving in Cobb. This is a great county. A lot of people want to live, work, and play here. Location, 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 as everybody says, is the driving factor for real estate. And so I anticipate that trend will continue as Cobb is a very, very desirable place to live. You sent me a graph of the average yearly sale price for homes in Cobb County, yeah. which is going up. And last year, as you mentioned, was a very good year for that. It was. The good news is, is if you have real estate in Cobb County, your investment is doing very, very well. And the sales prices over last year, I think we saw about a $50,000, $50, approximately $50,000 increase in sales prices over last year, the average sale from last year to this year. So that shows that that's a big jump in one year, $50,000. And we're seeing that in many, many neighborhoods countywide. It's not one specific area, it's the entire county. So along with that, you sent another graph about percentage of residential parcels increased, which is also up. It is. Normally we, we, we see that the market's showing about 125,000 properties will need to be increased every year, normally. This year, as I mentioned, it's 170,000 properties. So that's a big jump. And that, again, lends itself to the fact that real estate prices are really, really going up. And we're trying to maintain fair market value on these properties as we review all properties in Cobb County. So gosh, Mr. Tax Assessor, why don't you just take a year off and give us a break <laughs> and not do these assessments? Well, that, that's a, a question that we get every now and then. <laughs> However, it's also good to know that we are reviewed every year by the Department of Audits they come in and take a look at our digest, and the county's actually penalized if we don't keep up with assessments. The state can penalize us through the Department of Audits. Additionally, the Department of Revenue looks at our digest every few years, and they look to see that we're keeping up with fair market value. And if we're not, then they can penalize us in different facets as well. So there's ramifications for the county if we were not to maintain fair market value on properties. So how are you able to do this when you have this demand and this, this, this need to assess all these properties? And, and as you already mentioned, you've done more than ever this year. How can you do that with manpower and just who you, who you have in the office? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge, and that's a great question. But we're no like any other office in, really in the country. We are um, in need of people. However, uh, I, will, I will brag on my employees. They've done a great job in making sure that we got the work done on time and in an accurate fashion. And I, I, my hats go off to not only our staff, our management team as well, looking for creative ways to make sure that the work gets done on the calendar. Um, work from home for some of our employees has been a great feature. Because of the pandemic, we're finding out that that has been a very, very productive facet. Um, and it's really helped us look at our calendar and figure out ways to get the work done in a timely fashion without sacrificing quality. So speaking of manpower, given the stats that we've been talking about, do you expect maybe a record number of appeals this year? You know, I've talked with some of our other, other counterparts around the state who have already have their assessment notices out, and I'm not hearing that it's a record number for appeals. I'm hearing about a lot of calls and inquiries, but I think for the most part, taxpayers understand that the real estate market is very, very hot. And this is, as I mentioned, it's not a Cobb County thing. This is a state of Georgia thing. All, all counties are experiencing this. And I think that people are understanding to that fact. They understand when they get their assessment notice that, yes, the real estate market has gone up. I should be expecting an increase. So I'm not seeing a high number of appeals. I'm seeing a high number of calls, which is normal for when you put 235,000 pieces of mail uh, in the mailbox, you're going to get phone calls and walk-ins, and that's fine. We're prepared for that. But I'm, I'm not seeing high numbers of appeals so far. 
One thing I notice when I look at my bill, and I ask you this question already knowing the answer, but my net taxable value when it comes to the county general fund portion of my bill is considerably lower than the others. What's going on there? So Cobb County has a homestead float, and what that means is the taxable portion uh, will stay the same while you own the home unless you make a change to the property. So if you were to add a swimming pool or add another garage or buy some more land and attach it to your property, if you don't do anything, the taxable value will stay the same on that line only, the county general portion. So as the assessor's office continues to increase values due to reassessment, the taxable value for county general, the taxable value, stays the same. And that's just one of many parts of your, of your bill. Correct. Depending on where you live, you may have more lines. Some people live in a city, and so they have city tax for their appropriate jurisdictions. And then, of course, you have schools. And uh, there's also bond for the county. And additionally, there is county fire. So depending on where you live, though, that changes because some people live in jurisdictions that have their own fire department, so there may be some changes there. But generally speaking, there are six or seven different line items on each person's estimate that's at the bottom because that's only an estimate. It's just this year's value based on last year's millage rates. And the millage rates will be then set by the, in our case, the Board of Commissioners. Right. Each jurisdiction will set their millage rate in July and then the tax commissioner's office will send out the bill. All right, so to recap, given what we've been talking about, everybody should have these by now. If they have an issue with the number that they see, what should they do? We would encourage them to go to the website, cobassessor.org, see what properties are selling for in their general valuation area, their subdivision, their neighborhood. What are the sales prices like? How does that compare to what we have put as the fair market value on their property? If they have trouble with finding that out on the website, they're welcome to call us, 770-528-3100. We will either answer the question then or we'll have a residential appraiser call them back, answer their questions, or you can always come to our office, 736 Whitlock Avenue. We're in the West Park Government Complex. Uh, Come to the assessor's office. We'll have a residential appraiser meet with you, and they'll go over the information regarding your specific property and what sales were used to help derive your value. All right. Thanks, Director of the Tax Assessor's Office. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it. Absolutely.